He's the first high-ranking European envoy to visit Lebanon since the formation of the current government in January. France's foreign minister didn't come to show support for Lebanon's leaders, who are asking for an international bailout to deal with the unprecedented economic crisis. Instead, Jean-Yves Le Drian delivered a firm message. Politicians will need to reform the state and end corruption. The Lebanese have strongly expressed their legitimate aspirations through demonstrations since October and took to the streets to emphasize the need for change, transparency and to fight against corruption. And unfortunately, this call has not been heard. What is needed is to carry out reforms. This is not just France's demands, but the entire international community. Lebanon's economy is on the brink of collapse. The currency has devalued more than 80 percent on the black market. Businesses are closing. Unemployment is rising. Weeks of discussions with the International Monetary Fund for much-needed aid have not made any progress because politicians won't fix state corruption. We need to get a deal with the IMF and get it as fast as possible because that's the only way that this country is going to be able to unlock the needed financial support, the immediate disbursement of cash. France, the former colonial power in Lebanon, has repeatedly tried helping by hosting donor conferences. Lebanon's leadership appears to be cornered. They need money to stop the country from going bankrupt. But the reforms demanded by the IMF would weaken them and deprive them of sources of funding. Leaders have long been accused of exploiting the state's resources for personal gain. Allegations they deny. Prime Minister Hassan Dieb says his government is committed to reforms, but the French envoy apparently isn't convinced. Le Drian went even further to criticize the state's inability to control its territory, in clear reference to the armed group, the Iranian-backed Hezbollah, whose growing role in Lebanon and influence in the region has hurt ties with traditional allies in the West and the Gulf. Hezbollah is committed to keeping this government and therefore talking about reforms is impossible at this stage. Hezbollah controls it and will give it cover from U.S. sanctions as well as keep illegal crossings along the border with Syria open. All the while, the economic implosion accelerates and nearly half of Lebanon's five million people have already sunk further into poverty. Zana Khudr Al Jazeera, Beirut.